A film in three minutes. Croupier. Are you a gambler? Do you play the odds? Bet the farm? Do you seek the thrill of winning big? Or perhaps the deep despair of losing hard? Do you know the numbers? Have you read the rules? But most importantly of all, do you understand people? Mike Hodges' 1998 thriller Croupier is a film that explores all of these questions, and it does so with slick direction and the excellent casting of Clive Owen. The story follows Jack, a struggling writer trying to get his first book published. After a phone call from his father, Jack is encouraged to interview for a job as a croupier in a casino in London, forcing him to go back to his former profession. His skills with the numbers quickly endears him to the manager, and it's not long before he becomes the top croupier in the casino. However, Jack's relationship with this dark world of money and betting begins to complicate his personal life, whilst at the same time giving him the inspiration he needs to write a whole new story. Croupier acts as both a unique observation on the world of casino gambling and the trials and tribulations a creative mind has when seeking inspiration. The character of Jack is cold and unemotional whenever he interacts with people in the real world, and yet through the use of narration, we get to peer into his much more animated state of mind when he begins to write his novel. And Jack has three words for Giles. Go fuck yourself. The many scenes where Clive Owen observes and makes predictions about people's behaviours are what give the film its distinctive edge, allowing us to watch with a smirk whenever Jack is proven right or wrong. Usual bunch. They didn't know Jack, but he knew them. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Although casinos have been portrayed in countless films, what's refreshing in Croupier is how the world of gambling is told from the dealer's perspective instead of the actual punters, giving us a different insight into the lives of people that work in such places. Clive Owen perfectly encapsulates the sense of apathy he feels for the people in his life, giving us some very realistic arguments he has with his partner, played strongly by Gina McKee. The other woman in his life, and the one who will eventually implicate Jack in a potential crime, is played by Alex Kingston in a pre-Doctor Who role. Some of the best dialogue throughout the film is shared by the two as they both try to figure out what each person wants from the other, leading to many humorous lines. Do you believe in astrology? Absolutely not. But then I'm a Gemini, and Geminis don't believe in astrology. The energy from the film comes almost entirely from the scene set in the casino, allowing us, like Jack, to quietly enjoy observing the diverse cast of personalities on display. Owen trained with professional croupiers before filming and his efforts show whenever he is handling chips or a deck of cards. Being able to listen to Jack's narration as he plots each chapter of his book is inspiring to anyone struggling with their own writer's block. And for any die-hard fans of Clive Owen out there, you also have the added bonus of seeing what a version of James Bond might have looked like with him in the role.